Hey you guys, welcome back to Gaming with TNT in Final Fantasy X. So, we just found, oh, oh, that's not what I wanted. We just found out that, oh wait, there's a chest in there, son of a bitch. We just found out that, um, uh, Yuna is Lord Braska's daughter, but we don't know who or what Lord Braska is or what that means. So, you gotta talk to Waka and find that shit out. So, is Yuna's father famous or something? She's the daughter of High Summoner Braska. You saw his statue at the temple. Lord Braska defeated Sin ten years ago. Yuna's the heir to a great legacy. It's tough <sighs> when your father's famous. Huh? Walker's a bit lacking in the imagination department. Huh? <laughs> Thanks, Lulu. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, yeah, you talked to Yuni yet. She had some questions for you. Okay, so now we can go talk to her. The wind. It's nice. Mm. You're a Blitzball player, aren't you? From Xanarkin, right? Uh, you hear that from Waka? Mm-hmm. Huh. Waka. Waka doesn't believe me at all. <laughs> but I believe you. Huh? I've heard in Xanarkin there is a great stadium all lit up even at night. Huh? Great Blitzball tournaments are held there, and the stands are always full. How do you know that? A man named Jack told me. He was my father's guardian. Jack. Jack. My father. His name is Jack. <gasps> Amazing! Hmm. You know, our meeting like this must be the blessing of Yevon. Mm. Sounds like him, but it can't be him. Why not? My old man, he died. Ten years ago, off the coast of Xanarkin. I I'm sorry. He went out to sea for training one day, and never came back. And no one's seen him since then. Why, that's the day that huh? Jekt came to Spira. But... Uh... It's true, I first met Jekt ten years and three months ago. I remember that was the day my father left. The date fits, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but how would he get here? You're here? Are you not?
What do you think you're doing? Stick a harpoon in him and we'll all get dragged under. Sin is going for Kilika. We gotta distract him. Our families are in Kilika. Forgive us, Lady Summoner. Wait! Oh boy. Oh boy. So this battle we actually get to use Kamari. Uh, we gotta kind of be careful with this battle because, spoiler, there's a, another boss battle like immediately after this. Can't really do a damn thing with Yuna right now. So what you want to do with this battle... Well, shit. Is kill all of these little guys except for one because they can uh, come back so they got that one so now that, that that's done we'll swap out Mari for Waka because he's him and Lulu are the only ones that could actually do any damage to see it. Uh, keep Yuna. Go ahead and heal Titus because he's going to be in the next boss fight. Let's swap him out for Lulu. Um, I don't think there's any like magic that hurts in more. So this is pretty much how the battle will go. For the rest of this part, anyway, is just you know, healing up everybody and um, Lulu and walk up attacking soon. Two or three more turns, maybe, of this. Gotta keep Waka especially healed up, because he's also gonna be in the second boss fight. Actually, going to summon. Probably should have done that like way before, but I didn't think about it until now. Uh,
Alright, we get to see Energy Blast. Soon. As you can see, this is way cooler than the Energy Ray as well. Get wrecked soon. Yeah, the fight would have been over a lot sooner if I had just saw it. <laughs> La vie, I guess. This is the second boss fight. This could get really irritating uh, just because this is just an irritating boss battle. And I don't remember. So I know these sin scale things uh, respawn. I think you have to like take out one on each side to just like try and lessen the damage that can be done to you. Might actually just be all but one, but I don't, I don't, nope, okay, well shit. So I guess you just have to deal with it, um, yeah, that sucks super bad. Especially since I didn't do any sphere grid like grinding. I guess just keep pounding away. I think you can do dark attack on him. It might help a little bit. That's definitely gonna hurt. Try to get keep try to keep healed up and just fight through it because there's not a whole lot you can do. The darkness helps like, dodge the drain attack, but that's pretty much it. I thought there was a trick with like not having to worry about the down sin scale things. But... I have to use the damn 
pie potion for each of them. Because a regular potion just ain't gonna cut that shit. I'm essentially only fighting him on like level like two or three, like technically, which is, I don't know why I decided to do it this way, but I did. We're just gonna have to suck it up because I don't want to use that ether to get more MP. Okay, I think this is. Yeah, that's it. Okay, whew. so that wasn't super bad. When I get to this next um, island, Kilika, that's when I'll start grinding, and I'll actually show a little bit of that. But a lot of that will be also like will be cut out as well, so it's a lot easier to grind on Kilika than anywhere else, at least at the beginning, anyway. When Sin attacked Xanarkin that day, I woke up in Spira. I kept hoping it would work in reverse, too. I will defeat Sin. I must defeat Sin. I was just fooling myself. Maybe it was that day, on the sea, under the burning sun, I started to give up hope. I was in a foreign world. I wasn't going home. This was my new reality, and I was stuck in it for good. Summoner Yuna. I have come from the temple in Besaid. Oh, Milady Summoner! If there is no other summoner here, please allow me to perform the sending. Ah, thanks, BT. 
our loved ones. We feared they would become fiends. Please, take me to them. We'll go see what we can do to help in town. If I'm not mistaken, there. Yeah, nope, not right now. I thought there was a chest around here, but I guess not. But like, okay, so I remember. I don't know if it was like just because I'm old or what, but <laughs> I'm old. I'm only 25. But I remember like seeing that for the first time as like 13, 14 year old kid. And like was like, oh dude, that's like really cool the way they just destroyed the fucking town. And like I like wanted to cry a little bit when I saw it this time. Oh, I mean it was it's super fucked up. Like I guess just because I'm older, like the fucked upness of that like affects me in a different way. And I'm, of course this scene too. This one has always kind of like upset, not upset me, but made me sad and so uh what's ascending are we going somewhere <sighs> you truly are clueless are you sure it's just your memory that's the problem the dead need guidance Filled with grief over their own death, they refuse to face their fate. They yearn to live on and resent those still alive. You see, they envy the living. And in time, that envy turns to anger, even hate. Should these souls remain in Spira, they become fiends that prey on the living. Sad, isn't it? The Sending takes them to the Far Plane, where they may rest in peace. Summoners do this? Hmm.
It must be tough, being a summoner. Yuna chose her own path. She knew from the beginning what it meant. All we can do is protect her along the way, until the end. Until the end? What's the end? <sighs> Until she defeats Sin. Oh. Poor Titus being treated like an I idiot. Hope, I hope I did okay. <sighs> you did very well. They've reached the far plane by now, but no tears next time, mm -hmm. uh. I wished there would never be a next time. No more people being killed by sin. No more sendings for Yuna. Everyone stood there watching her. It was strange, and somehow, horrifying. I never wanted to see it again. So I don't actually know. Yeah, no, they kept it. <laughs> so this is a, like another translation error thing. It's like I'm going to be a blitzball when I grow up. I'm supposed to be blitz blitzball player, but you know, be what you want to be, kid. Um, this is going to be a short video um, because I suck at time management, and uh, like, I, like I, I hate trying like just cutting videos short. But, um, unfortunately, that's what's going to have to happen. Um, hopefully this won't happen again for a while. But, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We did get into some good, some good cutscenes. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.